time check is 32 minutes past the hour of a success. Very soon, I'll cross over to Studio B. We'll be having an interaction with our uh, brethren from the camp of Israel United in Christ. Don't forget that today we are blessed to have Bishop with us. Captain is, is also there. And uh, so, yeah. So, listeners, you know, today we are blessed enough. And if it's too hot, get out of the damn kitchen. The leadership got the vision. Probably if you win them, come be coming for that. Without wasting much time, let me cross over to Studio B and welcome my guest for today. I have with me Bishop Kanai and then Captain Gadalia and the soldier Noah. So, uh, in fact, I'll start with Bishop because <laughs> for me, one thing that I like most is that when you want to reach the main creator you need to go straight you hit the uh, nail on it head before you even descend to wherever uh, other place that you want to go so uh, bishop can i uh, you welcome to studios of mind 105.1 fm shalom to my family here in uh ghana thank you for having us you know it's a great pleasure to be back in ghana once again right. to bring the unadulterated word of god to all people to wake up people up the truth of this Bible, who they are, and what our mission is. Thank you, Bishop. Uh, Captain, you're also welcome. My listeners want to hear from you. We want to hear you? your voice. Ca no, Captain Gadalia. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, like Bishop said, uh, Israel United in Christ, we uh, we love to be here. We're thankful to be here. We thank the Most High God. we back in Ghana, all right, to bring the word of God to you, brothers and sisters. In fact, I, I'm blessed having you guys here because okay. I think I've met with the uh, captain before. Yes, sir. And last time, and uh, uh, I have uh, Soja Noah. Soja, how is it? Correction. My name is Soja Nehemiah. 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 There you Nehemiah. go. Nehemiah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so that's uh, from the production team. We should, yeah, we should okay. next time, we should be okay. careful. Yeah. So yeah. credit yeah. for me then. Yeah. Soja Nehemiah. Yes. Okay, I love yes. the name. I love the name. Yes. So, um, Bishop, yeah. what do you have for us today? Well, we have a message for people here in Ghana, who they are, what they need for salvation. We want to help bring hope to our people. The churches have failed. Let's get to the point. The Christian church have failed our people here. Politics have failed our people. Our people have been reading the Bible for generations, and nothing has changed. We want to show the people the truth of the Bible. Because for too long, our people have learned lies. They've learned lies in the Bible. So I'm asking people that's right now that's tuning in, to 105.1 one, Mind FM to get your pens and papers out. Write these scriptures down and examine them and go ask your pastors to answer them for you. Here's one major one we're going to start with, if you don't mind. Give me St. John's chapter 8, verse 32. Yes, sir. The book of St. John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So everybody heard that before. Mm -hmm. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Free from what? free what is the truth god will answer his own words give me that one uh psalms and you give me a romans 6 uh 6 22 yes, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free psalms chapter 119 verse 142 read thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth you know what the bible says god's law is the truth that's right when the Bible says, and ye shall know the truth, it means you're going to know the laws of God. Here's the Lord of God. Men, you cannot wear dresses. Right. Women, you should not be in, in pants. You should not be homosexual or lesbians. You should not be murderers or thieves or harmongers. And ye shall know the law, and the law will make you free. That's free right. from what? The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 22. But now, being made free from sin. From what? From sin. Being made free from sin. God defines his own words. Ye shall know the law, and the law shall make you free from sin. But wait a second. The churches tell you, you're no longer under the law. Mm -hmm. You're under grace, under the blood of Jesus, and everything's absolved because the laws don't matter no more. No, that's not true. Grace is supposed to teach you to deny ungodliness. Give me that in Titus. 105.1. Titus. 
Titus chapter 2, verse 11. Read. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared to all men. Guess what? The grace of God has appeared to all Ghanaians for you all to learn what is the truth of this Bible. Read on. Teaching us. Teaching us. That denying ungodliness. Denying sin. Read on. And worldly lust. And all your worldly lust. All you men out there going from woman to woman, whoring out your sisters out here. Teach us to deny ungodliness and all worldly lust. We should live soberly. We got to be sober minded. Read on. Righteously. Live righteously. Read and on. And godly in this present world. In this present world. In Kamasi today, right. you people better learn that you must keep the commandments of God in the faith of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. the black Messiah. That's right. That's the message that we have for people out here. Yes, sir. We want our people to wake up to the truth. Absolutely. Can we keep on going on? Yes, sir. Of course, of good, course, good, of good, course. good. So, uh, what listeners want to hear a lot. Good, on good. What you just gave us. So, as we were talking about about understanding the Bible, for so long we've been deceived and not knowing who we are, not knowing a simple thing. Let's go very simple. The basic image of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We've been taught through our history that Jesus Christ is white. We've been taught it in movies, in the pictures on my wall. As a little kid, mm -hmm. I saw a white guy with blonde hair on my wall that I was told is Jesus. That's a lie. The colonizers brought that image here to you. Jesus Christ is a black man. And listen, for all you pastors out there, don't say it does not matter. It does matter. Right. It does matter because it's written in the word of God. That's right. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. He showed John the revelator things that were going to come to pass. What was going to come to pass? They were going to change his image. Mm. They were going to put a white image on earth. Give me that uh, in First Maccabees 3. Right? 3, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. They are going to change his image. There were going to be people that's going to begin to draw images. And for you watching right now, there's a book you got to pick up. Look right here. Zoom in right here. Mm -hmm. Zoom in right here. Get this book. This is a white man's book that shows you the image of Christ was changed right. to a white man. Listen, DJ. Listen. He looks like you. When I saw you, I said, look. Jesus Christ. That's him right there. Yeah. He's made in his image. Mm -hmm. Let's read that real quick. Hold on, you got that. Read. First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen. Wherein the white man. The heathen. The white man. The heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. They took a book, the Holy Bible, and they began to draw their image in there. Gave you a white Jesus, a white Moses, a white Solomon. All these men were not white. And that was all to break our minds. So when we see each other, we don't see God in us. Let's see what God said. Verse 14. Yes, sir. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. God, Christ, the Messiah, described himself as having white woolly hair. Read on. As white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were red. Read on. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. And it says his feet were like unto fine brass. His feet were dark brown. Read on. As if they burned in a furnace. That's the description that Christ left on the earth. That's his right. image. That he looks like you. He looks like you. He looks like you. He looks like us. You people in Ghana got to understand that. That white image is a lie. Now let me tell you something. Because most people don't know the Bible. I'm telling you. They go to church. They don't learn the Bible. Mm -hmm. I have a question. And I'm just being frank. Okay. Do any of you go to church? Have you been to church recently? Yes. Okay. What did you learn in church last week? And then there was silence. Right. You learned nothing in church. Today you just learned Christ was black. Right. Why is that important? Because maybe I read one scripture and it doesn't mean that. I took it out of context. Okay. But it'll be written someplace else in the Bible. John the Revelator said it. Let's see Daniel the prophet. Let's see what he has to say. Daniel chapter 7. Yes, Watch this real quick. This Bible, you're all going to get the word of God unadulterated. You're going to get the true meaning of the word of God. So John the Revelator said it, and now Daniel the prophet said it. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thorns were cast down. No, I'm sorry. 10, 5, and 6. I'm yes, sorry. Okay. You got to read. Daniel chapter 10, verse 5. Look it up. <laughs> then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with the fine gold of Uphaz. His body also was like a barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning, read. and his eyes as lamps of fire. Let me read his eyes was, right, was red before. Read on. And his arms. And his arms. And his feet. And his feet. Like in color, to polish brass. So you're going to tell me that Daniel the prophet, uh, John the Revelator the prophet, these men were lying? Mm. 
that God didn't know what he said, he left the fuss for a record of last days. So one day, I could jump on a plane and come over here to Kumasi and tell my people, remember, God, Christ, the apostles were all black people. That's right. Why is it important to know that? You should know the truth. And the truth is going to make you free from all the lies and sins that this world has been teaching. Do you think it's just most? Do you think it's just uh, Christ black? Give me Solomon, his forefather. Mm -hmm. What was the color Solomon? Give me the apostles, Acts 13. Yes, sir. It's black throughout the whole Bible. Hey, listen, for you listening audience, I want you to understand the land of Israel that you call today, it is part of Africa. That's right. It is Africa. The white man mm -hmm. has lied to you when he made the Suez Canal and divided it. Right. And said, this is the Middle East. That's a lie. Right. That is the center of the Garden of Eden. Right. That's why they all come here to steal the riches from here mm -hmm. and take back to Europe and America. Watch this. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. Read. Verse 5. I am black. He said what? I am black, but comely. He said, I am black. This is Solomon, King Solomon. Mm -hmm. He was the forefather of Jesus Christ. He said, I am black, but comely, good looking. All you daughters of Ghana, all you children of Africa. He's telling his people, a black man. Now let's go to the New Testament. Yes, Acts sir. 13. Acts chapter 13, verse 1. Now there were in the church that was in Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called nigger. They were called what? Nigger. That's in the Bible. Right. Don't get mad. That's the message in Acts the 13th chapter. They were called nigger. You know what? Today, you have a country named that right now. Mm -hmm. It's called Niger. Mm -hmm. N-I-G-E-R. Okay. Yep. It means black, Spanish, negro. It means black. They were the apostles were called black. So we went from the new to the old, back to the new, back to the old, back to the new again. Yep. And we're going to go back to the old again. What you holding? Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Yep. Judah mourneth in the gates of language. They are black unto the ground. You heard what it said? Jeremiah the prophets now spoke. These are the people you said you believe in the Bible. Mm -hmm. He said they are black unto the ground. Why is it so important to know these things? To tear where the falsehood that's in our minds, the lies that's in our minds, that Christ was black. I mean, Christ was white and these apostles were right. Right. Okay, I want to question. and Because I, I want this to be interactive with yes, us. Yes, yes, yes. Our people. And when I say old people, talk black people. We were taken as slaves to the Americas, and you all were left here. How did we get to the Americas? What means of transportation did the white man take us over there? By plane? Did we walk? By ship? I'm asking you. So, listeners, this is your question, and uh, obviously, you would have to come out with the answer wherever you are listening to us right now. You can also join us on Facebook, Mind FM 1051. Mind FM 1051. You can join us over there and uh, you will see the uh, bishop, uh, captains, and the soldier <laughs> in fact on screen. Very, very, very uh, nice um, uh, pictures we have over here. You can also join us and then see them for real on screen. And uh, meanwhile, you can also. Uh, join us uh, via SMS on 0559-868841. If there is anything you don't understand, you want to ask question, ask um, a bishop uh, gives the sermon, you want to ask something, you can uh, channel it through SMS on 0559-868841. WhatsApp, you use the same number, 0559-868841. If there is any contribution you want to make, you can also as well reach us on 0559-868841 both on sms and then on whatsapp or you can also use 0508-118685 you welcome all your contributions and suggestions now bishop has thrown a question and i would want you to expand yes uh, to, to to delve into that same question very good so that listeners will get the clear meaning of what you are telling us very good so what we were talking about was slavery Mm -hmm. Slavery is recorded in the Bible. And how we end up coming to going to the Americas, mm -hmm. God put it in the Bible for the last days. Mm -hmm. But what I want to do now, mm -hmm. because people think that this message, I'm the bishop. Mm -hmm. No, I'm one man out of many men in spite of God. Oh, okay. We're looking for all you young men out there in the streets that's doing nothing. That's we right. want to put a spirit inside of you mm -hmm. to go take on this charge and lead the way. So watch this. I'm, a, I'm not going to teach it. I'm going to make the soldier teach it. That's He's right. going to teach you about our slavery. A young man. Mm -hmm. It's not about just us. 
These are men inspired from God. So if you think I can't remove me out the way, there's thousands of men can do the same thing. We're back real quick before we get that. Give me uh John 4. Damn, give me John 4, uh, 23. Yes. Watch this real quick. John 4, 20. Somebody even just came in with some message I would read yeah, for you. In a second, too. watch this. Yes. Is John the book 4, of John, chapter 4 and verse 23. But the hour cometh. The hour cometh. And now is. And what? And now is. And now is. The time is here. Read on. When the true worshipers. When the true worshipers. Uh, shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Let me tell you. The time of the chucking and jiving. Church stuff. Giving money over white Jesus. Giving all your way your money and tithes. We don't collect no tithes. Right. That's robbery. They're right. robbing you people. While they driving around in Bentleys out here. And you're all struggling. Right. But the hour has come. When the true worshippers, when the true worshippers are going to worship, now watch this. We're going to explain slavery to you, but I'm not going to I let the soldier do it. Yes, sir. Right, yeah. So first, let's go to chapter 1, verse 1 in the book of Deuteronomy. Gotcha. Because most of our people that's listening today, we think that the history is taking place in the Bible, is taking place in Europe. But mind you, the exodus is happening in what continent? Mm. I'm asking you. Oh, okay. Okay, what, what, uh, the question again? The history of Moses, the Exodus, where is that at? Is that in Europe, France, Germany? Where is it at? What continent? Obviously, you ask per the teachings you just gave us, it means it's on Africa. It's on Africa. Right. Africa is a predominantly us. black country, That's continent. It. Okay, read. One Book of one. Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. All Israel. Now we're going to do some key identifiers who the people of Israel are today. Mm -hmm. Let's get verse 15. Okay? Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It says if he will not hearken, who would have hearken is to hear. And what else? To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses. It says curses will come upon the true people of God if we do not hearken and obey and do his commandments. <coughs> Read. That all these curses shall, uh, shall uh, come upon thee and overtake thee. Now let's get one curse. I'm going to ask you what race of people on this earth it has happened. So I want verse 32. Verse 32. Deuteronomy 28 verse 32. Mm. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Stop. Did that happen on the continent of Africa? Were, were not our sons and daughters taken from Africa, from Ghana, from the British, the Belgian conference? Yes. That's history. The 1800s happened. That's history written in records. Mm. Read it again, Cap. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, mm. and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. We have no power to get our sons and daughters back. Mm -hmm. This is why we're scattered throughout all the, all the other continents you see. Right. We have no power, no matter what president you put up. Mm. Africa goes to, where was that at? Ukraine. Yes, it, yes. It, was it, uh, where my poster? They said, you have no matters here. This is grown man's business. Mm. That's complete disrespect to right. the continent of Africa. They, they look at y'all like little children. Mm. Come on, Capri. And there shall be no might in thine hand. There's no political might, military might. No might at all to get our sons and daughters back. Now, let's get 64. Verse 64. Deuteronomy 28, 64. The Lord shall scatter thee among all people mm -hmm. from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Now it says we will be scattered. Now we're going to get eventually how this would happen, but keep reading. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Other gods. Uh -huh. which, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Today, wood and stone would be what? We have the wooden cross, which many mm -hmm. of our people wear around their necks, mm -hmm. the wooden cross. And in Islam, the Muslims, they have to make their hearts to Mecca and kiss a, a rock. That's what the Bible is saying. He's our yep. key identifiers of who the people of God will be today. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get this one, one verse. This one verse right here is going to seal the deal on who the real people of God are. Okay. Verse 68. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now. We just made our exodus from Egypt. We just left Egypt now. In Egypt, we were in captivity as slaves. Now Moses is telling us if we broke God's commandments, we would go back into Egypt. But this time with what? With ships. With ships. Did that happen to our people? You <laughs> men and women listening today, I want you to call in. Mm -hmm. prove, to, prove to us 
mm-hmm. that we are not people of God. Right. Because okay. we got the scriptures to back up what we're saying right that's here. Right. I want you to call in. Your pastors call in. Mm-hmm. If you're students that's going to, what's it called? Cemetery school. Right. Mm-hmm. Call in. Prove us wrong. Please prove us wrong. Because mm-hmm. we got the scriptures to back it up. Read it again, Cap. Deuteronomy 28, 68. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So we wouldn't see the actual physical land of Egypt. We wouldn't go back and say we there. Mm-hmm. Right? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Once we got there, we would be sold unto who? Our enemies. Our friends? Our enemies. Our enemies. Read. For bond men and For bond women. Men and slave women. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. No man shall redeem you. Once you Christ fight, is the only man that can actually save us. Mm-hmm. Many of our leaders tried today. We got T- Thomas Sankara tried, us, tried to save us. Mm-hmm. Malcolm X. Martin Luther Kwame King. Kwame Nkrumah. Right. Kwame. Mm-hmm. The list goes on and on. But all these men failed because why? We never tried the foundation of the Bible, the scriptures. Right. We have to start here first. Then Christ will redeem us from our sins. Let me get some. Mm-hmm. So you see that. Mm-hmm. Then, is this not me? It's young men prophesying the word of God. Right. It's this. Listen, we could be here for the next 24 hours doing this. Yes. Right. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible just said that we were going to go into captivity on slave ships. That's how I ended up in America. Mm-hmm. And I, I was taken away from you all. And the, But I'm back now. I'm back here. How did they take us on slave ships? What do we have on our necks and our arms? You tell me, when we were the slaves, they had what on our arms and our necks? Mm-hmm. They had chains. chains. Let's yes. read that. The Bible's a real book. Verse 47. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God. Because we to serve God, he's going to put chains on us. Why? Because we wanted to follow the other nations. We wanted to be like the white man. That's Today, it. your beautiful black skin, you'll bleach it. Put bleach on your skin and look white. Right. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? God made us in his image. And we say that's not good enough. God said because of that, you're going to go into slavery. Read on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Because we don't want to serve God. That's why today, you know, throughout the continent of Africa, the white man has his hand in every country. Africa cannot unify as one force because of covetousness. Right. And the white man is playing different sides. He playing Sudan against the next country, against mm-hmm. uh, against Kenya. He playing this country against this country. Yep. And he sits in the middle. And then he gathers all the oil and gold and uranium and everything. Right. That we saw and take it back there. And then we're not smart to know it. And you know what they give us? To subdue you? They right. give you white Jesus. That's right. They give you church and religion that have destroyed this country. That is the biggest, the biggest weapon the white man has is religion. Christianity is the biggest witchcraft on this earth because it deceived those people to believe that you don't have to believe in a, that Christ is not black. Right. You believe in a white Christ and you say your rich is there. Why do we have to say anything there? Why do we have all the resources? There's no resources mm-hmm. in Europe. They don't grow nothing. They can't even grow potato. Right. But then we send it there. We let the Chinese come in here. We let the Nebulese come in here. We let the white men come in and rape this land. And then you know what? My own black brother will say, I'm the enemy because I speak the truth. Right. They'll get mad at me. But let's finish the word of God. Read. Deuteronomy 28, 48. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. Because you want to blind hair, you black women. Because you bleach your skin. Because you want to bring in lesbianism. There should be no lesbian in Ghana. There should be no homosexual in Ghana. There should be no adultery in Ghana. Right. There should be no TikTok, no Facebook, no Instagram in Ghana. It has destroyed the minds of the people. Therefore, because that's... Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. God said, that's why you're going to go serve your enemies. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against Which thee. Which God has sent against us. Don't think the white man is smart. God sent him against us. Right. Because of our disobedience. I'm asking the people out there, listen right now. What are we saying that's wrong? If you think that we're saying, well, they're racist, you got Stockholm Syndrome. Mm-hmm. This people has raped our people. Right. Look what King Leopold did. He killed over 20 million of our people. Right. And nobody talks about him. We talk about Hitler. I don't give a damn about no Hitler. I care about my people. Right. But it be my own people. Therefore, that's our enemies. In hunger. In, fight what? Fight in fight. hunger. in hunger. In hunger. You produce food here in Africa. You got to send it to Europe, and they come back and sell it back to you. In hunger, 
And in thirst. In thirst, you got the white man now bottling sewage water, filtering it, and serving it back to you. Yep. Something he himself will not drink. Right. Lord. In nakedness. In clothing, we have to serve him. And in want of all things. Anything you want. Do you know you need a, a, a visa to travel around Africa? Yep. You can't go around. The, the one kind that belongs to us. God gave us the best part of, out of all the earth. God created. Africa was the best part. And God yep. gave to us. And the white man came in here and ravaged it. Mm. Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron. And he, that he is your enemy, that yep. the soldier read, that he is the white man, that he is the Edomite, that the Bible calls him, Edom. And he shall put a what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until. Until. He, he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed thee. Mm-hmm. He took the yokes of iron off our necks when we were destroyed. Yep. You know when that was? When I no longer yeah, understood that defense. Christ was black. When I no, I no longer understood that I had to keep the commandments. When I never, when I no longer understood the value of you as my brother. Yep. I would look at you and look at the white man and praise him and look down at you. Mm -hmm. Do you know something? I'm telling you, people here. I was once like that. I was once like that. Mm. I would see another black man mm -hmm. and without anything, look down at him or have hatred towards him. But I see a white man and praise him. Yep. But God freed my mind from that. He showed me this is not a white man's book. This is your book. Mm. When he, once I got like that, he could take the chains off. You know why? <laughs> because blacks will kill blacks and he'll sit back and get paid. Wow. And watch it happen. Yep. That's the gospel of this Bible. All people of God need to hear. The truth of the Bible. And I'm asking all the listening audience, if anybody disagree, mm. feel free. But bring us Bible verse. Right. Don't okay. talk out your mouth. Okay. We don't want no sermon because you've learned more church and got more scriptures in the last 20 minutes than you got in church in your whole lifetime. That's right. Bring all your pastors. Bring your Bible verses. We're open to taking questions. We're not those fake pastors. I'm sorry I got a vent. We're not like these fake pastors that you go to church on Sunday and listen to him talk and you can't ask no questions. Right. You got to went to Tuesday for Sunday school. No, if a man call himself a man of God, a prophet, a preacher, you have the authority to ask him any question in the Bible. And he should be able to answer your word. If he can't, he's not a man of God. That's so right. we take all questions coming. Just make sure it has a Bible verse attached to it. Okay, so thank you. Thank you, Bishop. But uh, don't forget that uh, very soon uh, I'll be reading some of the concerns that some listeners have raised over here for you to explain them to us because our listeners have uh, so many of concerns that they've raised over here so uh, as and when we move on i'll be reading some of them for you to address them as they are and um, i think they will be there should be some clarity over there for them to understand truly what are you what you are giving them this evening in fact uh have some of the listeners or some viewers on facebook as well you can also join us on mind fm 1051 uh, mind fm 1051 uh <laughs> junior tiaro he says he's watching us live from a crocari obwasi area crocari and uh, the only junior tiaro uh, we are happy to see you over there uh mom will be you also watching us live inside amstead campus mabna we're happy to see you in the and uh, we also have uh, uh stacy 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 says in fact wow i'm enjoying your program it's very nice okay stacy uh we also enjoying you uh, over there and uh can come can come says uh or the in fact great bishop for me he's doing well uh he's made me understand a lot of things okay so uh can come is also enjoying uh the show over there this one says is Israel united in Christ a church or <laughs> I'll come to that don't worry I, I have hear, so hear, many hear, messages hear, on such things uh, in fact is, there, is Israel united in Christ a church or what please I need the understanding because they just said uh, <laughs> Christianity is a big witchcraft did you say that yes I did yes. Uh, uh, Bishop did you say that yes I did okay then somebody just uh, uh, gave the message that you want fan. to know that is Israel united in Christ a church or what? Because you just said Christianity is a big witchcraft. Okay, let me Can explain. You, more like that, that? you know what? The person that asked that question, very good question. Again, okay. good question. when men or people say things to you, you have the right 
to question what are they saying. Mm -hmm. You just don't, don't believe me just because I'm speaking. Listen to what I'm saying and then go back and ask the questions to see if it makes sense. So back. Christianity, the religion. I want to, for everybody listening audience, if you're watching, if you want to know where the true Christians are, mm -hmm. you're looking at them right now. We That's are right. the true Christians. Okay. Christians, are you Christian? Yes, Christians. True Christians, no, no, no. but Christianity. Christianity is a religion. It's a religion. We are the Christians. We follow Christ. That's right. Those people don't follow Christ. I'm telling you, here's one. You're all in church on Sunday. Right. The Sabbath is Friday sundown and Saturday sundown. Uh -huh. That's what Christ kept. What do you get, Rick? The book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 37. This is that Moses which said unto the children of Israel. Children of who? The children of Israel. Three. A prophet shall the Lord your God raise unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall ye hear. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. This was he, that's referring to Christ, who was in the church in the wilderness. Who was in the wilderness? The children of Israel when they came that's out right. of Egypt. So who was Christ with? So who are the Christians? Give me Acts 11. You know, wait, yes, sir. Acts 11, 26. Read, watch this. So now watch this. Acts Acts chapter 11 verse 26 And when he had found him he, had, he brought him unto Antioch And it came to pass that a whole year They assembled themselves with the church And taught much people yeah. And the disciples And the disciples, the 12 disciples Who were Jews, the Israelites Were called Christians They were the Israelites that were called Christians Read on. First in Antioch It was first called, so who were the Christians We are the Israelites, That's right. we are the Christians yep. We are the ones that follow Christ, let's make it simple St. John's chapter 2 I mean First John chapter 2 Verse <coughs> um, No, first What you want, Bishop? Uh, walk in his footsteps. Oh, First John chapter two verse six, I believe. Yeah. First John chapter two verse six. No, stop. Stop with verse. Stop with verse. Uh, verse three. Verse three. And hereby we do know that we know him. Hereby we do know that we know Christ. If if is a stipulation. If we keep his commandments. So if you're not keeping his commandments, you don't know Christ. You might know that lying image of white Jesus. But the image of Christ or the real black Messiah of the Bible, you don't know him if you're not keeping the commandments. Mm -hmm. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. So if you're in church women and you wear wearing pants, you're a liar. If you men out there secretly homosexual, you're a liar. Right. If you're giving tithes in the steady's churches, you're a liar. That's a lie. Christ, I didn't say it. Christ just said that. <laughs> Christ said, if you eat pork... You're a liar. Right. If you commit adultery, you're a liar. If you're a thief, you're a liar. If you go to church on Christmas, uh, you keep Christmas, you're a liar. Christmas has nothing to do with the birth of Christ. Easter, lie. Pagan, Christian, lie. Pagan, Mother's Day, lie. Pagan, Father's Day, lie. Pagan, Valentine's Day, lie. Pagan, <laughs> try Passover. Try the Sabbath. Right. Try the Day of Atonement. No try the days that's found in Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. That's One right. second, finish off. And the truth is not in him. We don't. For whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. We. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith he abide in him. If you say you are in the churches abide in Christ, on himself also so to walk, even as he walked. Right. You should walk like Christ walked. That's right. You should do what Christ did. Christ kept the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Christ wore fringes. You men, you got to grow your beard. That's a law in the Bible. Now, mind you, I didn't always do that. I was just like everybody else. But then I learned the word of God and I said, I love God and I want to do the right thing. And I can't do what I, you can't love God any way you want to love him. Right. You can't love Christ. Christ said, if you love me, do what? Keep my, my commandments. That's right. If you got a wife and you want your wife to love you, babe, if you love me, mm -hmm. you're going to cook the food I like. You're going to do the things that I like. You're going to make me happy. Churches teach you, you can love God any way and no man can judge you. Right. Are you crazy? Makes no sense. Are you crazy? <laughs> Y'all better study this Bible and learn. So it says, he, he says what? You ought to walk it even as he walked. Here's one, Jeremiah 10. Now guess what? I don't want to talk no more. Mm -hmm. I'm going to somebody else prophesy. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Kat. You get something. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse okay. 1. So what, the, so, what, so what the bishop is bringing out to you, brothers and sisters, the brother asked, mm -hmm. or the sister, I'm not sure what it was. They said, are we a church or what? What we are, we are the 12 tribes of the children of Israel right. raised up in these last days to bring you back to your God. You understand that? And you cannot be connected with your God if you're in sin, serving pagan holidays. Right. Bishop made a statement. Bishop said Christmas is pagan. 
It has nothing to do with the birth of Jesus Christ. Can we read that? Yes, sir. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Come on. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So now notice this. God is always talking to the house of Israel, not a religion. You understand? Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord. Go ahead. Learn not the way of the heathen. God says not to learn the way of the other nations. That's the heathen. The word heathen means nation. Right? Go ahead. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Because some of you are caught up in your zodiac signs right. and all those astrological signs. It has right. nothing to do with us. All right? Go ahead. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Come on. Watch this. For the customs of the people are vain. For the customs, the customs, the customs, the rituals, the religious practices of these nations are vain, meaning they're lies. Go ahead. For one cut a tree out of the forest. So at this time, they would cut a tree out of the forest. Go ahead. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Go ahead. They deck it with silver and with gold. They do what? They deck it with silver and with gold. I ask you, what practice today does someone set up a tree in their house and they and they deck it with silver and gold ornaments? What what custom is that? Over here, I can't assume. Across, across the world, yes. people get trees, put them in their yes, house, and they put Christmas. ornaments on it. That's yes. Christmas, yes. Christmas, right? Tree. But we're reading about it in the book of Jeremiah. 600 years before the birth of Christ, they were already pra uh, practicing that. You understand this? It has nothing to do with the Son of God. It's a conglomerate of other rituals from other idolatrous gods. You understand? Egyptian gods, Nimrod, or ancient Babylonian idol. You understand that? This has nothing to do with our Savior, the Son of God, the black Messiah, Jesus Christ. Right. But our brothers and our sisters in Ghana neg uh, uh, ignorantly follow these customs as if the Bible commands them to. But when Passover comes around, no one knows about it. Today was the new moon. Last night from sundown to sundown today was the new moon, which yes. is the beginning of the Israelites' month. You understand that? But our brothers and sisters were out here buying and selling. They had no idea that today was a high holy day in the eyes of the Lord, transgressing it. And then we wonder why the white man comes in here and steals our gold, steals our resources, steals our diamonds. Why we have a what we call an inferiority complex is because we break the commandments of God. That's right. Yes, sir. Go ahead. You hear this? You hear this? Hold real quick. You hear this? Listen, so everybody, you just got the scripture. Jeremiah 10th chapter he explains that the custom that people are celebrating Christmas is ungodly. Mm -hmm. So, December 25th, if you set up a tree in your house and you give out gifts, you hate God, right. you are a liar, you don't believe in God or Christ. Yeah. We just read it. Give me uh, give me Colossians. Yes, sir. Colossians 2, 2 and 8. Yes, you don't believe. You cannot say you believe in God and do what you want to do. There's that. law, statute, and commandments. He said, learn not the way of the heathen. For one cut of the tree, he decorated. You can't believe in the Bible and then do that. Right. If you do that, it's because of this. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Read. Beware. You better beware. Lest any man spoil you. Lest any of these fake pastors that you be giving your money to spoil you. Through philosophy. Read on. And vain deceit. And they lie vain deceits. Lies. Read on. After the tradition of men. Because everybody's doing it. How did you all in Africa learn Christmas? Mm -hmm. That's some white man foolishness in America. Right. You all down here getting trees. It's, it's 100 degrees out here, and right. you all with, with snow cones like it's Christmas time. You are giving gifts man. because do you know what they send? They send their white point. missionaries. Mm -hmm. Leopold these men send these white missionaries to what? Brainwash your people yep. into Christianity. Yep. So what does the Bible say? From the After the trip, oh, from the top. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. And not following Christ. Right. Walk like he walked. Keep the days that Christ kept. Do the commandments that Christ did. Right. It's simple. The commandments are not difficult. Right. You know what? Here's an example. I don't have to steal from you. I can go get a job. Yes. I don't have to murder you. I don't have to sleep with your wife. Mm-hmm. If you're my if you're my people and I love you, I will never bring I don't have to ever meet you. But I know you're a child of God. You're my people. And God commanded me how to deal with you. What's so difficult with that? It's not difficult. It's because people got the devil in them. Right. And a white man has taught them that you can love Jesus and come as you are. Yep. That for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. That God loves everybody. And he doesn't hate the sinner, he hates the sin. All that is the rudiments of men's lying, falsehood, teaching you lies. God does not love everybody. Mm. Christ did not die for everybody. Mm. 
people online to me right now say, what is this guy talking about? Right. He's a false apostle. He's lying to the people. Call him the ass. Somebody call it an act. Please right. read St. John 3.16 because we're telling you that God, his son Jesus Christ, only loves the Israelites and God only sent him to die for us. That's right. So we're waiting for somebody right now to call in and give us a Bible first. <laughs> okay, so time. listeners, that's for you that if you can call to give us a Bible verse that proves that Christ died for everybody. Come on. Uh, I think Bishop wants to throw that challenge that if you can also give a message that will prove that uh, Christ died for everybody, but not only the Israelites. But before then, what do you also say? How do you explain that the to convince some of us that Christ did not die for everybody, as we say in perspective, but only the Israelites? Okay, watch this. Uh -huh. Okay, we're going to ask that. I want you to pick which one of us you want to explain it. You pick which one you want to explain. Because uh, no, I, want, I want you to pick one of us. Mm -hmm. Don't pick <laughs> anyone you want. You will get the what same. What we've been hearing is that Christ, the Savior, was sent by um, uh, uh, his Father, right. the the, the, the right. Almighty, which is the God of Israel, right. uh, to come and then uh, die for uh, sinners. I mean, right. across world, okay. all sinners. Okay. Okay. What we're gonna answer I think question. Myself, uh, listeners. I hope I've spoken. I've spoken your mind, though, because <laughs> this is what myself and other listeners believe that uh, Christ came to die for every single Everybody. sinner on this. Earth. Okay, I'm gonna make it quick. I'm gonna let each one of you get a little bit. Mm. But let me just get a little. Wait, wait, I'm no, bro, bishop, <laughs> right back. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, watch this. Uh -huh. I'm gonna some key point. Who Christ came to die for? Matthew 15:24. I'm, give me uh, Joel 2.27. I got you. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Listen up. But he answered and said. This is Christ speaking. I am not sent. Sent from God. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Said, I am not sent. But listen, everybody. Write this down. Right. This ain't church when you go stand listen and pay tithes. Matthew 15.24. The Messiah, Jesus Christ, said what? But. He answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said, he said himself that he was only sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. Who sent him? Who sent him? Acts 5.31. Yes, you give sir. me Joel 2.27. I want Acts 5.31. Yes, Who sir. Who sent him? The book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 31. Meanwhile, you can also still call us on 559 if you have any concerns raised as to whether Christ came to die for all sinners across the world or he came to die for only the Israelites. This is what Bishop just told us, that Christ did not die for all of us, right. but he came to die for only the Israelites. Am That's I right? right. So right. if you have any concern on that, you can call us and then if you have any Bible verse to support your argument, you can also <laughs> let us know so that um, we all clarify things over here. Meanwhile, you can join us on Facebook, uh, Mind FM 1051. Uh, Mind FM 1051. I have so many messages that I think uh, DJ, I'll be DJ, asking. DJ, uh, what, what's this? Don't worry with that. Let's read this verse. So Acts chapter 5. Acts 5 verse 29. Here we go. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. So we don't care how people feel about what we're saying. Okay. We're going to obey God rather than men. We don't the God of our fathers. The God of our fathers. The holy, the only one true God. Raised up Jesus. He's the one that raised up Jesus. Whom he slew. Whom and, the people killed. And hanged on a tree. And they hung him. Him have God exalted. God has exalted Christ with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. Go to everyone. Repentance to Israel. See, God only sent to give the repentance to Israel. So God, that means God only loves Israel. Wouldn't it say someplace else in the Bible? You think that's the only place? Let's go now to the Old Testament. Joel this out too, Bishop. To give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. That was your question. And mm -hmm. forgiveness of sins. Mm -hmm. Read on. Go ahead. Joel chapter 2 verse 27. Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. That's God talking. And that I am the Lord your God. He said your God that everybody's God. Mm -hmm. And none else. And everybody. And none else. White man. None else. Lebanese. None else. Chinese. Mm. None else. God said, I'm the God of Israel and none else. That's and right. And that's in your Bible. Right. Don't act like we the bad guys. 
God said that. God only has one people. Show me in That's biblical text said. from the beginning from Genesis like to Revelation that. where God ever delivered the other nations mm -hmm. and killed the Israelites. He's always killed the other nations and delivered the Israelites. That's it right. has never changed. So the Bible verse that everybody would run to right now, let me help you Christians that don't read no Bible out. You're going to go to St. John 3.16. Mm -hmm. That's what you're going to go to. Mm, for God so loved the world. For God, here, everybody watch it. That, for God so loved the world <laughs> that he gave his only I think hallelujah. When some of us, hallelujah. Amen. Our, uh, hallelujah. Fact, <laughs> those days we were taught like yes. that memory yeah. verse. Right, so, right. Just, so let me hear you quote it. Let me hear you quote it. That is what I just gave. For God so loved that, the world. That's why he gave us his begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall uh, never perish. perish, but have everlasting right. life. Right. So, Amen. yeah, hey, 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 hey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me ask you a question, gentlemen. Uh, do you believe the Bible? Yes, do you believe the Bible? Yes, to okay. Some extent, okay, okay. I believe the so Bible. So, let's read St. John 3 16. Uh -huh. Let's we're gonna read, we're gonna read the scripture that you all know. Let's read it. Okay. We don't run from scriptures, we'll right. go right to the scripture you're asking for, okay. and then we're gonna explain it to you. And I know you all have common sense. Let's see if you understand. Read. So, whoever so, believes in him, let's see. Oh, I'm John. Not, listen, here's the thing. Notice. We just read the scripture. Right. The, God explains what he means. He gives you a word. He gives you the definition of what he means. Okay. That's what we go from here to there. In church, you just hear preaching. Ha, ha, ha. And right. play games. No, no, no. Watch this. The book of John, chapter 3, oh, verse 16. Three. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Watch it. Now we're going to explain it. For God so loved the world. What world does he love? Who would define that? Wouldn't it be God? Wouldn't God define his own words, right? Okay. Watch. Isaiah uh, 45. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. That's right. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. What world? The world of Israel. Read it again. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. To be saved, you have to have a savior, right? 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 I'm asking you, okay. don't you need a savior to be saved? Yes. Well, Christ is the savior. God said, Israel shall be saved mm -hmm. in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. The world of Israel is going to be will not be ashamed. That's why we talk. We talk bold. We're not ashamed, right? Because what we're reading is out of the Bible. That's right. We're not ashamed what we say. The white man is not getting the kingdom of heaven. Nobody else is getting. It. But you all, if you come back and keep God's commandments, right. everybody else is going to go. You want to know where they're going to go? They're going to go in slavery. Right. And that's in the Bible. For so when it says for God so loved the world, what world? The world of Israel. The answer is found in Isaiah forty-five. And 17 mm -hmm. that he gave his only begotten son mm -hmm. that whosoever whosoever sounds like everybody right yes let's see whosoever is acts 2 21 yes sir the book of acts chapter 2 and verse 21 read and it reads and it shall come to pass that whosoever they go that word again shall call on the name of the lord yeah, who, hallelujah shall be saved read on. ye men of israel hear these words who's he talking to ye men of israel Hear these words. Whoever you men of Israel will accept them, hear these words. Now, guess what? If you if you can argue, you're not arguing with us. You're arguing with God. That's right. And you're telling God he don't know what you're talking. You better watch your mouth because God is going to judge you. Unless right. you got a scripture to say this does not mean that. Right. And we want to listen to scripture. Okay. Then keep quiet. Because your pastors have not taught you the Bible. Mm -hmm. You are not studying the churches. And I don't mean as a disrespect. Right. I'm just speaking fact. You are not studying the word of God. Right. For God so loved the world. The world of who? We just read Isaiah 45, 17. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, whosoever is Israel. Acts 2, 21. Is the people. But let's let's watch this. Let's stay in St. John 3, 14. We're right. going to go up two verses. And see. Did we take it out of context? John chapter 3 verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Who was in the wilderness of Moses? The children of Israel was Moses when they came out of Egypt. That's right. As Moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness with the children of Israel. Even so must the son of man be lifted up. Even so. So what was the serpent being lifted up in the wilderness was about? That's back in number 6, is it? Yep, number six, chapter six, 21. 21, okay, watch it. Numbers chapter 21 verse 6 and the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people and they bit the people 
and the people of the Israelites and much people of Israel died. What? So who was he talking to? Bring it out. Much people of Israel died. So let's mm -hmm. go back to saying this is what Christ the Messiah was quoting. Yep. He was quoting this right here. Right. Now watch. John chapter 3 verse 14. <laughs> And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. For who? The children of Israel. We just read that. Even so must the son of man be lifted up. For who? For the children of Israel. Same thing. <laughs> man, listen, y'all. In church, y'all don't up. know, man. You got to come out from churches, man. Right. Keep your money in Stop paying tithes, man. Why are you supporting these pastors mm -hmm. so they can drive around in nice cars and you people struggle out here? Listen, show me the Bible. Where any of the prophets, including the kings of kings, lords of lords, did not sustain themselves. Christ right. was a carpenter. Right. Paul was a tent maker. They all had jobs. They were fishermen. I got a job. Nobody maintained me. Right. It ain't, it's not the job of the sheep to take care of the shepherd. Right. It's the job of the shepherd to maintain the sheep. That's right. And he's hustling you in church right. for your money. But you know what they're telling you? If you don't give tithes. We're not going to bury you. Mind mm. man. We're not dead. Man, please, you don't want point them point. ungodly people burying you. Mm. You don't want them ungodly people. They, they threaten you with saying that we will not bury you if you don't give tithes. God, you know what that is? That's to put a guilt trip. And because you don't know the Bible, you are quick to give money away. Give me that. Let's, let's, let's go to tithing real quick. Deuteronomy, what, 14? 14, yes, sir. Watch this real quick. I keep on talking about tithing. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 22. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt truly tithe or the increase of thy seed. It says tithe the increase of cash. Thy seed. Of your seed. That the field bringeth forth year by year. So tithing, if you wanted a real definition of tithing, was you were to give 10% of whatever your crops were. Mm -hmm. And then you took it to Jerusalem to the priest. We're not there in Jerusalem no more. So let's, let's read on. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God. In the place which he shall choose. That was Jerusalem. Place, no, no, the place you choose. Which he shall choose. So you can't choose Kwamasi or Accra. You had to choose the temple that was in Jerusalem. And that temple was destroyed in 70 AD when the white man, the Roman, right. Titus and Vespasian, came and leveled it. That's right. Today you call them Italians, white people, Caucasians, Edomites, the Bible calls them. Read it again. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God mm -hmm. in the place which he shall choose to place his name there. The tithe of thy corn. Of your corn. Of thy wine. Of your wine. And of thy oil. And of thy oil. And the first things of thy herds and of thy flocks. Where was money in there? Name there. You can't change the... Be no, that was back then. You can't change the meaning of the Bible. That's right. God tell you what his tithes are. It's the first of your crops, of your oil, of your seed, and of your animals. That's what tithing was, and you had to take it in the place that he chose. So, where's tithing today? You know what people tell you? You have to tithe, and if you don't tithe, you're robbing God. Right. And make you guilty. Then they'll tell you that you have to keep the commandments, the commandments are done away with. Well, isn't tithing in the Old Testament right, right. along with the other commandments? That's right. So, how do you got to keep that one, but you don't have to keep the other ones? Right. Man, they're hustling you. It's because you all people don't study the Bible. You don't know the Bible. You listen to sermon and gospel music. Song and Mind but it's a high time that you all wake up by the seat. Point. The prophets are back on the earth, and you're looking at them, and they look just like you. Right. So you better accept what you hear in the word of God come from our mouth, or you go believe the same white man that enslaved you. And your passion might be black. But he went to their cemetery schools. Right. You heard it right. Cemetery schools to teach you a lie. And we're here to tell you the truth of the Bible, that you are the Israelites. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. In fact, uh, I have uh, some of the messages over here. Uh, Vanessa is um, still complimenting that Bishop is doing well. And um, Christy, she says... I'm listening to you guys from Opokwa, the second hall. Okay, that where you saw them uh, having that program. Says, uh, in fact, I love the tight version, Papa Papa. So, Bishop, I would want you to repeat that <laughs> version for me, the tight version. Anyway, don't worry. Maybe tomorrow to the. Will be the 14. Yes. <laughs> She's happy. So, are you telling us not to pay tight or 
Because so far as my sister is happy, I think no. she's that is how she's taking it. Okay, no, you don't tithing. We just read in Deuteronomy was the first of your crops or your okay. animals. The seed it was never monetary; it was a money. Okay. It so was they not shouldn't money. pay to their priest. No, no, you don't listen. It's not the job of you all to take care of. Listen, Christ was a carpenter; he had a job. Okay. Why, if Christ didn't take your money, why is your pastor taking your money? Right. Christ is your king. <laughs> I'm telling you something. Look at all of us. Now, we do understand people give free will offerings mm -hmm. to help because we get down here. We need help to travel. Mm. But it's not you're commanded by God that you got to give me 10% of your money. Mm -hmm. I take your 10%, your 10%, your 10%, and I'm living good. Meanwhile, you're all struggling in the streets. Right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. A shepherd feeds the sheep. They make sure they take care of the sheep. They protect them. No. Don't give me no money. I don't bury you. Thank Come on, man. That's evil. That's thank, demonic. Thank you, Bishop. That's on that. witchcraft. Uh, okay. David from Thanos who says he's enjoying uh, the sermon. But you want to know about this. That Bishop said uh, the Israelites, uh, God of Israel, is meant for only the Israelites. Right. So what of those who are not Israelites? Which God should they serve? And can they also join uh, the Israelites to serve the God of Israel. This is from David. No, he says he no, wants to know no, if no. they can join no, they the Israelites. Why? They cannot. He said, I'm giving back to all 227. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll read one more time. So, which, which God should they serve? Those no, it, it, who are listen, not Israelites. There's only one God. There's only one God. So, they can't serve they, worship they, in they, God. Listen, they can if they're not, listen, when I say they're Israelite, meaning they have to fit the curses. Okay. If you are the people of the slave trade, that we read in Deuteronomy 28, that you were brought away in slavery. Mm -hmm. You're not Ghanaian. You're not, like, I'm not Jamaican. He's not African American. Those were all bywords put mm -hmm. upon us. Mm -hmm. You understand it? You are biblically called the Israelites. That's what we read about the slave ships and Yoke of Ai. Who is most talking to? The One, children two, five, of point Israel. One. So if you identify with the curses in Deuteronomy 28, then I'm talking to you. Okay, so. So, no, but let's make it. The right man ain't getting the kingdom of heaven. It right. ain't for him. Mm -hmm. God don't love him. Okay. God don't love and, and all the other nations too. It sounds harsh, right? I'm asking, does it sound harsh? Yes. Okay, yes. Joel 2 27. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And he shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And I, I am the Lord your God. And none else. God said, I'm the God of Israel, none else. Now who wanna say something against God? Who created everything? Now, you want to go to the New Testament and read it? Because mm -hmm. somebody said, that's the Old Testament. Lying Christians say, oh, that's the Old Testament. We don't live. We're under the New Covenant. Let's read that the New Testament. Romans chapter 11, verse 26. Read. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer. And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. From who? From Jacob. That's the New Testament. Read it from the top. And so all Israel shall be saved. So you want to tell me Paul the Apostle, the, the Apostle Paul, don't mm -hmm. know what he's talking about? Mm -hmm. Who do you think inspired Paul to write that? Wasn't that God inspired him? Yep. Wouldn't, read again. And so all Israel shall be saved. No, Paul, no, Paul. I came for everybody. Mm -hmm. No, he said all Israel. Right then and there, if Paul was lying, God would have stopped him and said, no, 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 no. I said, my son to die for everybody. Right. <laughs> no. Yo, no, let's read it again. <laughs> and so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written. As it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer. Come out of Zion a deliverer. And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. From Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them. This is the promise he made to us to deliver us, not everybody. So how did we learn? I'm asking you a question. How did we learn that all nations could be saved mm -hmm. when we were in slavery mm -hmm. under the white man? He brought us religion. We weren't allowed to read. And then he taught us that he is God, right. Jesus, Messiah, and we all began to follow him. And then we hated each other. Mm -hmm. But don't don't worry, everybody. God has sent the prophets back on earth. That's the right. real Christian, the Israelites, that's right. to bring the word of God to you. And that's in your Bible right now at home. Bru let's believe we're prepared to fight and this is how we do. This is how we do. You heard from our bishop, captain, and a soldier from the camp of Israel united in Christ. Very soon, shine the program. But before then, I'll go back to Studio B.
take our final words from Bishop Captain and the Soldier. The I have so many questions over here, but I think next week we have to all in the other days we have to meet because people want to know something about the festivals that they are supposed to celebrate and the ones that they are not supposed to celebrate. So I think it's a question that needs a whole day or, or a whole segment. So, okay, uh, Captain, you wanted to say something. Your final words. Yes. All right, brothers and sisters. So for all you that have questions, you don't have to just watch us here on Mind FM. You can actually come and see us in our building. We are at uh, the close to the IPT fitting shop okay. right here in Kumasi, Ghana. We have a grand opening. 10.30 a.m. this Saturday, August 5th. I'm going to say it again. This Saturday, August 5th, at the cl uh, close to the IPT fitting shop, we have a brand new building. It is the grand <laughs> opening. Come out and learn more. Ask your questions. Okay. Uh, Bishop, do you have anything for us? This no, before I come back to you, let me move to... So, so yeah, uh -huh. your final words. Yes. Uh, Christ is black. The Israelites are black. And we here, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Shit, we here. We here, that. Good. We here. And we ain't going nowhere. Good. Listen, I want to thank Mind FM for having us. It was yes, a sir. pleasure being here. And for all people out here, we love y'all if you love God. If you want to learn how to serve God, come on to the school. And we try, we want to sit down and talk to the pastors out here. We're not your enemies. We're coming here to we coming here to Ghana for solutions to help uplift our people right. and get the people from taking the little children out of here, take them back to America and take them back to Europe as slaves. Nah. These people are adopting our kids, Red Cross. We out here for you, so come and learn the word. IUIC is on the rise. That's right. IUIC is on the rise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And fire!